flex, she wanna know me I stay low-key, all gas, no brakes Baby, let them hoes sleep Body on 10, make your girl OD I get in my way, never out of my lane Feel like you the one and I'm on one So what is gonna be? What's up guys? And welcome back to my channel In today's video, I am going to show you guys How to make a designer bag tumbler with a chain so this tumbler can be made with or without a chain. Um, some of the supplies that I use, um, as you can see, my microfiber rag, alcohol, heat resistant gloves, heat resistant tape, a tumbler of course, a chain and pieces for the chain, a tumbler press and a template, which I will drop everything down below in the description box. You want to start off by cleaning your tumbler with um, alcohol and a microfiber rag. It doesn't matter what percent the alcohol is. You just want to make sure it's clean. Make sure you don't have no lint, no grit, so anything on the tumbler, no fingerprints. That's why I stuck my hand in the tumbler versus um, holding the tumbler to avoid those fingerprints. And you're just going to go on and you're going to take your template and you're going to wrap your tumbler. Just make sure your tumbler um, wrap is the correct way it's not upside down so just double check and um, tape it really good with your heat transfer tape make sure you don't have no air bubbles in there I'm going to uh, show you guys how I take my scraper and I just go up and down on my tumbler with the straight scraper just to make sure I got all of those air pockets out of there Now it's time to press your tumbler. So what I like to do is give my tumbler a 45 second press, 360 degrees. That's all the way around. So I do one side for 45 seconds. I do the other side for 45 seconds. I do another side for 45 seconds. And I do another side for 45 seconds. So I turn my tumbler four times um, during this process. And it's 45 second increments and I find that to be the best method for me I mean you may want to do less I mean each to his own but that's what I do Now that our tumbler is pressed, it came out really good. What I like to do is just inspect it just to make sure everything is straight before I add the cheese on them because once you add the cheese on them and you take them off, it makes the cup look really ugly. Then you got to start all over again. So just inspect your cup really well. Now that you have inspected your cup, it's time to add the chain to it. So I like to use this E6000 glue and that is because it is waterproof so when you wash your tumblers it should not come off. But um, also with this glue it does need to sit for like 24 to 48 hours. I like to do like two days. But um, I got the chain from Amazon which I will put the link down below and it come with little end pieces so you have to screw the flat part into the part that's going to be attached to the cup. And I allow that to sit for two days, sit for a day before I add the chain on it, and then I add the chain and then I let it sit for another day to completely dry. But these are the pieces, 
and I'm just gonna screw them together but with this glue which I made a mistake when the first time I did it I did not make sure them end pieces was very well stuck on there I just put the glue on there and stuck them on there and next thing I know they I look back like five minutes later and they were sliding down the tumbler so you want to make sure you hold those end pieces on there it is the next day and the cup has dried for 24 hours so at this point I just inspect it make sure they haven't slid down make sure they you know still in place because I try to align it where it's perfect so that the chain is not covering up um, the main design in front of the tumbler but drop like right below it but anyways um, I do add the chain on the next day and then I allow it to sit another day before um, I either ship it or the customer um, picks it up I don't want to be dragged in my body I just want to go my own way Cause I am on my way I hope you guys enjoyed my video of my designer handbag tumbler. Like I told you guys, they are super cute. Look at it. Yay! Anyways, if you're new to my channel, make sure you go hit that subscribe button and turn your bell on. That way you will not miss an upload from your girl D. And to my subscribers out there, you already know I love you guys. I truly, truly, truly do. If you have any questions, make sure you drop them in the comment box down below and I will get to them. Give this video a thumbs up, okay? And until the next time, until the next video, thanks for watching. Bye!